And over at the state capitol, Governor Tony Evers has authorized the deployment of the Wisconsin National Guard after a night of protests turned destructive. A Milwaukee state lawmaker says he was attacked during the melee. Katie Crowther is in Madison, where state leaders toured the damage. This is where one of the statues was torn down. Governor Tony Evers was out here touring the damage. So were some Republican lawmakers, including Speaker Robin Voss, who held a press conference on the Capitol steps. The first solution starts with saying that you can't commit crimes. You cannot commit uh, battery. You do not have the opportunity to destroy the Capitol. Voss is criticizing the lack of police presence in the Capitol Tuesday night, saying that's due to a lack of leadership from Governor Tony Evers and the mayor of Madison. Protesters tore down the women's rights bronze statue known as Forward and the statue of a Union Civil War colonel who a state historian says fought to end slavery. Democratic State Senator from Milwaukee Tim Carpenter, who was at the Capitol working late, was punched in the face by some protesters as he was taking a photo. And many businesses surrounding the Capitol were vandalized. I also spoke with a Black Lives Matter protester who grew up in Milwaukee and now lives in Madison. He wants legislators and community members to think more about the black people dying than the property that can be replaced. People that only want people to protest peacefully, I think are missing the point. People have been protesting peacefully. Colin Kaepernick protested peacefully and nothing happened. Um, so I think when there's a situation where there's something that's wrong happening for a long number of time across generations, it's hard to ask someone to, to express that anger and emotion peacefully. So if that leads to destruction of a couple buildings, or at least the statue's coming down, so be it. Governor Evers did issue a statement saying those who committed the violence will be held accountable. He's also looking into the police response Tuesday night and in the future. He says he is prepared to activate the Wisconsin National Guard to protect state buildings. You can read his full statement at TMJ4.com. Reporting from the state capitol, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.